it's very interesting to look back about where we came from and where we are today. The opportunities that energy efficiency has is a real viable resource. What's core to the mission of what we do is collaboration. We really do live the name. It is really all about the partnerships. NEEP started in 1996 as a regional market transformation organization. When we began, one of my colleagues, Dave Hewitt, was my co-presenter at this meeting, this national meeting in Florida. We decided to go canoeing in a mangrove swamp. We discussed the idea of doing this regional organization to work on market transformation. The next week when I was back, I began organizing this advisory group to test this idea. And by June, we were moving forward uh, NEEP as the very first regional energy efficiency organization in the country. The public policy paradigm for energy efficiency, what, what we needed to do was to make sure that we had reliable, affordable energy. The environmental context was meeting the Clean Air Act requirements. It was really a patchwork of different efforts. And the research showed that if we could align those efforts and have them work together, we could accelerate the market transformation impacts. Several initial initiatives were selected. Motor Up was designed to promote premium efficiency motors. The clothes washer initiative, commercial rooftop air conditioners, lighting was the final of the initial initiatives. In about 2000, EPA began having Energy Star Awards, and as I recall, NEEP has won them from the very beginning. The synergy that, that NEEP was able to achieve um, between the national concept, the regional concept, and the on-the-ground implementation. NEEP was founded, actually, to partner with Energy Star to transform the market using the Energy Star brand for consumer products, and it has been an absolute success. When I first came here, we were just launching a project to create some state-based appliance standards, with the idea being that if we can get enough states to move in common, we can affect the federal level in that case then. One of the things that I think NEEP brought to the table very early on was a recognition that appliance standards were one of the tools in the toolkit to make sure that the overall benefits of energy efficiency were going to be accomplished. The very first project that I started to work on was high-performance schools. I think I almost get a little teary-eyed every time I walk into a CHIP school throughout the region now. The work that we're doing is having a measurable impact and a difference on the communities and the stakeholders that we work with. We undertook a project to really sort of assess for the New England region how much energy efficiency could we get if we really made a concerted effort on public policy and program development to, to attain all cost effective energy efficiency. Our analysis showed that you really could flatline energy consumption. We could not only keep it flat, we could actually offset it in a cost effective way. We've looked at uh, what is already existing that can help us move that forward. Who are the partners that we can work with to advance those solutions. It was state energy offices, it was the utilities, it was some of the other non-governmental organizations and our allies working with us on that. It was the federal government, it was a number of manufacturers who came to the table and wanted to talk productively on those sort of topics. In 2006, NEEP began its first of the regional summits to bring together a lot of people from the region to learn about and celebrate a lot of the accomplishments, but then to talk about some uh, pressing issues and going forward. Everybody involved in this big soup kettle uh, that we call energy efficiency comes to the summit uh, to share practices and really just be inspired all over again to keep making the difference in the world we all need. Around the same time as the beginning of the summit, we also launched our, our recognition of the business leaders. This is really vital uh, to the region as a way to inspire businesses to participate in energy efficiency. NEEP brings these people together and creates a great set of case studies to inspire other businesses to see it's safe. The water's fine, let's actually do this and lower our operating costs so we can be globally competitive and make uh, a, a difference on the environmental concerns of the day. NEEP played a critical role to bring together states 
to inform the development of the measurement and verification manuals used as the basis for qualifying efficiency into those capacity markets. They were the first ones to really take that issue on, and I think it's been very successful at getting the discussion going. The underlying MNV and the rules around that have trickled up international standards, discussions, and protocol developments. Regularly, the regional energy efficiency organizations, sometimes called the RIOs, have uh, been getting together uh, once or twice a year to really coordinate, learn from each other, discuss common initiatives. I think that's been very successful. One very popular target has been zero net energy buildings. NEEP began to look at what are the opportunities in the Northeast to help build the market for zero net energy. Next generation energy efficiency is critically important because we need to catch up. Next generation energy efficiency is a suite of policies, uh, technologies, uh, and programs which really allow for uh, an economy-wide energy savings potential that may very well surpass what we've seen recently in our industry. Leadership at NEEP thinks strategically about policy and how we can create deeper savings with our customers and align policy with the corporate for portfolio of services. If we do it right, um, we'll have a much cleaner, much more low carbon energy system, um, much more consumer friendly, much more decentralized. What I love best about NEEP is the people. The NEEP organization is uh, made up of some really fantastic people that are very dedicated to the environment, to the efficiency, and to making the world greener and a, and a, and a better place. Great perseverance and great uh, resiliency in, in adapting to the changes in the industry and always with a vision of helping become more energy efficient, which is really great for consumers, for the environment, and it's good for utilities. The relationships that you know, over the course of the 17 years that have been forged um, across all these different entities. The work we do with our regional market transformation initiatives is really grounded in our working groups, uh, and that's where we bring interested stakeholders together. One of the more important aspects of partnership with NEEP is the ability that they have and the capabilities that they have in facilitation. By putting these working groups together and bringing together a large group of stakeholders, we're able to actually get a lot done. To take it efficiency from something people didn't pay much attention to, policymakers didn't pay much attention to, utilities didn't pay much attention to, and really raise awareness as an overarching uh, success story, I think, is, uh, is, a, is a real legacy. We've been doing this for 20 years. Our program has evolved from uh, just looking at technologies to looking at public policies, leading by example, and helping states to succeed, uh, as well as utility programs. We have not run out of opportunities to save energy. We are the leaders in the nation. Uh, we should be proud of that, but we cannot rest on our laurels. We need to continue to challenge ourselves, and NEEP allows us to have those discussions that take us to that next level of thinking. NEEP is always looking at what is that next thing that we can build upon to increase and or to improve the efficiency of our, our homes and our buildings. It's a really exciting time to be there, kind of right in the center of it, to say, hey, here are some solutions, here are some things to try, here are some things to pilot. The new generation of energy really involves multiple facets. Our states have committed through their political leadership to creating a robust energy efficiency framework. Everyone has a part in this and we look forward to serving these audiences to make this region the first really low carbon region in the United States of America. We have to stay relevant to the conversation. Things are happening incredibly quickly around us. Energy efficiency has to stay at the forefront of those discussions. And that's something I think NEEP is very well equipped to be able to do.